Hi Leos, this is Alyssa with Twin Cup Tarot and this is going to be a reading for the sign of Leo for the month of April. But as usual, keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed and this may not be your story. And that's okay, there's so many amazing readers out there, one of them will resonate with you. Alright Leo, when I tapped into your energy, I'm not going to lie to you, I was surprised. Okay. One thing about every Leo I have ever known is they are generally very warm, passionate people. And the Leos that I have known have also been pretty strong nurturers, regardless of gender. They really love taking care of those around them that they, that they love, okay? And they love to reach out and give to others in general, okay? But I'm actually feeling cold. I'm feeling a cold, almost like a burnout, like something ran too hot for too long and then it completely fizzled out and now you just have cold ashes, okay? I even have goosebumps, okay? So this is a very uncomfortable feeling, Leo, because like I said, you guys are generally beings of warmth and passion, okay? There's something about your personality that's very warm. But I kind of feel, and you know, the last reading I did for Leo's for the sign of March was extremely positive. I basically saw you guys stepping out into the spotlight in whatever form that took. Basically, your hair being on fire with your own passions in a good way. And, you know, just this wonderful, yummy, exciting, new, just amazing energy but sometimes when sometimes when you're in a natural high of excitement and passion and that kind of stuff the higher the more elevated that high is the worse it is when you crash okay and this might have to do with what's going on in the world right now okay a lot of people have lost their employment. A lot of people are quarantined to their homes. There's probably a lot of just financial struggles, emotional struggle, struggles, mental, you know, health issues going on right now because people feel like they can't get out. They feel there might be some cabin fever going on, Leo, and you are one of those beings that just cannot be contained, okay? So you might be really, really taking it very hard in April. I'm seeing that as wonderful as March was for you, April could prove to be the opposite. Ugh, Leo, oh my gosh, Leo. That kills me, that kills me. Every, and honestly, honestly, I love every sign, so there's no favorite, but out of all the signs, Leo's, like I said, are generally the warmest people. They literally are like the sun, in my experience. And it just kills me to see such beautiful energy, you know, take such a nosedive like that. But that being said, I see this as being temporary, Leo. And it might not even last for all of April. I just see this as kind of the major theme. Some hardship, some conflict, feeling left out in the cold. You know, I feel, like I said, an emotional crash. Like you were way, way, way up in Mount Everest of excitement and passion. And then it took a nosedive off the cliff. And now you're like, how am I in this, this, this hole? How am I... I, now I can't even see the sun, you know, that kind of energy. I'm, I'm going to just start drawing cards, Leo, because I'm starting to get depressed. All right, Leo, let's see what we got here. Let's hope that we get some more positive energy coming in in April. I don't want to see it all just be a, a struggle for you. I'm going to move these over a bit there so you can see the cards. I am going to wait till I get all the cards before I speak to this because this is, this is interesting. Oh, 
Leos don't do it. Okay, so uh, the first thing I heard was Leos don't do it. Don't do it. Don't leave. Don't run away from this situation. So what I'm seeing, okay, for some of you, a lot of you possibly, this could have to do with a romantic situation that you already are in. Something. So if you are not in a relationship right now, if you are not in a committed relationship right now even, this this probably is not your specific story, okay, when it comes to romance. But what I'm seeing is that all this hardship, this emotional dive, like I said, it's. I just got the image of an angel that fell from heaven, okay? Uh, basically, just, just how painful and shocking and confusing that fall could be, okay? So what I'm getting is that could really take a toll on your emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual health, Leo. And your first instinct, I wouldn't say that you're going to lash out, but I, I almost see that your first in instinct might be to look to the person closest to you and try to leave them. I don't get the feeling of you picking fights, but I basically see you coming up with a reason to run away from this person, to break up with this person, to dissolve uh, this commitment because of the pain you're feeling, okay? Um, what I just heard, Leo, is misery loves company. But the interesting part here is you feel like you're going to bring this person down with you into this emotional spiral. And so your first instinct is to go, no, nope, get away from me. I'm no good for you. Get away from me. I'm going to bring you sadness and heartache. Get away from me. I don't deserve your love. Leo, don't do it. If this is your story, if this is your energy, if this is where you're headed, don't do it. Don't do it. I basically, like I said, I see, I'm going to, I'm going to break it down here, Leo. So I see the Knight of Cups. I see the Four of Swords, the Lovers, and the Hangman. And when I see that all together, my first thought is someone pulling back all of their emotions, okay, getting into a turbulent state, and basically throwing their relationship out of balance on purpose and basically causing this, with this hangman hangman energy, I keep wanting to say hangman in reverse, I'm not really sure, but this hangman energy, I basically see that you're trying to isolate yourself, okay? Now normally the hangman is a very positive card on its own because it talks about taking a spiritual pause so you can find some kind of awakening or, you know, gain an epiphany, gain some clarity of some sort. It's really, because as you can see, he only has one foot tied and every other limb is open. His other leg is unbound. His arms are unbound. He can free himself at any time. This is by choice, okay? <clears throat> but I basically see you separating yourself from a committed relationship because of the pain you're feeling. I mean, look at this. We have the Six of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords, we have Death, we have the Nine of Cups in Reverse, and we have the Ten of Swords, okay? This is a lot of mental, this is a mental torture here, where you're, the, there's these voices in your head, Leo, that are telling you toxic and untrue things, toxic lies, okay? These voices that you're hearing that are plaguing you, that might be keeping you up at night, that are basically making you want to run, change your situation, end this relationship, go into a period of unhappiness, and cause yourself pain, they are lying to you, Leo, okay? If this is your story, all I can say, Leo, is do not run away from this person simply because you're hurting, okay? Because if you do, this is the energy you're looking at. Basically, stabbing yourself 
causing yourself pain, causing an ending that'll be extremely painful for you and for the other person. And I basically, with this Nine of Cups in reverse, this is telling me that you're causing unhappiness to yourself. You're basically throwing your wish fulfillment out the window. Because I'm seeing if you're in a committed relationship right now, and if this is the energy you're, you're headed towards, if this is your story, the person, the other person in this equation I'm getting that for majority of you, this is your person who you're, who you could have a happy, stable life with, okay? And if you throw that out the window, that could be the end. That might not be a reversible decision, okay, Leo? It it could break the trust between you guys. Um, I don't really, I don't see that you're trying to hurt this partner. In fact, I see that your intentions are to keep them from being hurt, but by not trusting them to be strong enough to stand beside you through this, by pushing them away when you're feeling these dark emotions, by not trusting them to help you stay, keep your head above water, you're actually going to hurt them more. Wow, Leo, I those messages are always hard for me when I get stuff like that because they're so specific. So part of me is like, oh my gosh, is this going to resonate with anybody? Is this, you know, but I, ha I even I have to let go of that because there's a reason I'm getting it. Even if this only resonates with one person, it is still an important message. So I had to put it in there. Um, so like I said, if you're in a committed relationship and you're you're already feeling and you could already be in this energy Leo to be honest because I'm getting for a lot of signs the beginning of April is is going to be the hardest okay if you're looking at a challenging month I see the beginning of April being the most difficult and as April goes you know on I basically see that that leveling out okay but this Aries energy that we're in right now can really cause people to make some more impulsive decisions for good or bad, okay? For some people, this Im this impulsive energy that Aries has, which I impulsive sounds so negative, but really it's just Aries goes after what they want like a comet. They're just off and running. Sometimes they bust through the door like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. You know, it's basically... I'm an awful impressionist. I can't do <laughs> accents to <laughs> save my life. I can't do impressions to save, save my life. So forgive my uh, Kool-Aid impression. But anyway, anyway, um, I, <laughs> I basically see that, you know, you really, you don't want to let your impulses drive you right now because those impulses aren't coming from a healthy place. Um, I'm going to get some more cards here. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to get some more cards here because I feel like that was so specific. Um, if this does not have to do with a romantic relationship, this could have to do with something you're passionate about in general, Leo. So if you have some kind of side gig or hobby that you do on a regular basis, something that you feel truly passionate about, this month might have, you might have taken a hit in that area in some way, or maybe your emotions are so turbulent that you can't create what you want to create. And in April, I'm seeing that there's this kind of impulse to just throw it all out the window, all the progress that you've made up till now, just throwing that out the window because you're frustrated, because you're sad, because you're angry, because you're you're turbulent and these voices are telling you you're going to fail. Once again, if that's your story, Leo, if this is about that, don't run. Don't throw it out the window. Don't do something that, don't do damage that is irreparable to yourself, okay? Don't do it, Leo. You will get through this. This is temporary, okay? This is temporary. All right, Leo, I'm going to get a couple more cards here and see if I get anything else for the rest of the Leos out there in case that wasn't your story. Wow. Some of you are on attack mode in April. Oh. 
Okay, so all I gotta say, Leo, about these cards that just came out, I pity the fool from your past that tries to come back in when you're in this energy. <laughs> I basically just see... <laughs> I see this uh, King of the Jungle vibe here, Leah, which kind of fits. You are the lion. Um, I'm basically seeing that if someone comes into you. Oh, okay. I just got another thing. So first of all, you might have an... <laughs> You might have an ex or someone from your past, could be even family members from your past that you were on the outs with, that you cut ties with. Some people might be, you know, <laughs> basically emerging from um, these these holes out of the ground. You're like, where did you come from? Why are you here? And you're basically like, no, get away. And I see you charging after, but basically chasing them off, you know, but... <laughs> Another energy that I get, and it could be connected as well, is that a lot of you might feel the need to defend your turf in April. <laughs> wow. You might feel the need to show that you're king of the jungle, show that you're queen of the jungle, you know, a display of power, a display of dominance. Wow, Leo, what is going on here? I'm seeing that there might be someone, once again, it could be from the past, who comes into the energy space. Oh, some of you, okay, if you're in a relationship, Leo, or if there's someone that you really like romantically, even if you guys aren't committed, you might see someone else come into the picture who makes a move on this person that you're eyeing, and you might, um, <laughs> I basically see seeing you mark your territory all over the area. Basically show them, no, no, no. I am king of the jungle. This is my subject. <laughs> no, this is my property. No, that doesn't sound good either. This is mine. How about that? This is mine. And you don't get it. And I basically see you chasing them off. For some reason, this world card, I've never seen this before. But with this world card, I basically see someone in their space. And see how we have these creatures on the outside? I basically see you standing guard over what is yours, okay? Standing guard over what is yours, okay? But here's the... <laughs> so like I said, I, I feel that this person from the past is, is making an offer to somebody. Could be coming to you. Could be offering something to your boo. You know, basically is what I'm seeing. And you're just not having it. You are not having it. But I see you chase them off, Leo. That is... I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say about that at all, Leo. Let's just get more cards. person might be like wow wow babe wow did you did you have to chase after them with that stick did you did you have to do that and you're like excuse me it's <laughs> basically um you're just like excuse me this you're mine this is mine this is my space if they didn't want to be chased after with the stick they shouldn't have come into my space like i basically just see you going well they won't do it again. I, I feel like, okay, so honestly, I'm getting so many different messages and so many just different energies, Leo. And I, I am still drawing cards, but I, I feel like so many Leos are just in a different spot. I don't feel like the energy is very cohesive for Leos. That might be why I'm I'm having a hard time tapping into one thing. I'm getting a lot of different downloads, a lot of different messages. Um, I think a lot of you are just going to be feeling very impulsive. Your energy is just going to be pretty imbalanced. Some of you, you're going to have that initial energy I talked about where you burned really hot and passionate in March and then in April it fizzles out and it just you take an, a really really low low and some of you are gonna find your anger spikes in April and you're gonna be chasing after people you know <laughs> basically like a guard dog or a lion or I basically <laughs> yeah I just see you chasing people off um Okay, another 
another image that I just got. Please don't be offended, Leo, please. But I basically see, okay, some of you might be very short in stature. I don't know why I got that. Some of you Leos watching this, you might be uh, shorter than average or you might be very petite. Okay, because I basically just got an image of a chihuahua, a chihuahua chasing, basically chasing an elephant down the road. <laughs> or chasing a very large man down the road and whatever it's chasing they run okay they're not gonna take on this chihuahua because they know this chihuahua is gonna f them up okay <laughs> that's, that's basically what i'm getting is that you're just fit to be tied okay for some of you i i <laughs> that is so interesting okay anyway anyway leo sorry back to it back to it uh, we're already at 20 minutes oh goodness okay um Okay, Leo. So I feel like there was a scenario where you had a lot of choices. Okay. You had a lot of options around you. Okay. And instead of just grabbing one cup, I see that you grabbed two. You grabbed two. But you couldn't balance both of these cups. And instead of this being wish fulfillment, like I normally see the star, I basically see that you could only put energy into one cup and the other cup just kind of drained onto the ground. Basically, you weren't able to get anything from it, okay? So your energy wasn't fully on this. You were able to put most of your energy and attention on this cup, um, but you still weren't able to give it your full attention. And this one just completely was wasted. Whatever this opportunity was, completely wasted. And you're realizing the truth of this. You're realizing what you lost here. And that might, that might upset you, Leo. And that's going to cause some unhappiness. And that's really going to mess with your with your stability. And you might actually have some arguments about this. It might cause some anger, some dispute, some turmoil. Once again, I keep getting specific stories with this. Leo, are you in a third party situation? I never like using that phrase because nobody likes to hear it. And I don't blame you. I don't like to hear it either. But let's be real. I've been in third party situations, unfortunately, a few times. Okay. Regardless of where I was on that, I, I'm a Gemini. I swear, Geminis, it's our curse. Third-party situations, whether we're unknowing of it or knowing of it, okay? But anyway, um, this doesn't have to be romantic. It could be that there was three parties involved in this situation. It could be, it doesn't even have to be three people. It can be you know, that you have two people and work is getting in the way. That's the third party. So just keep in mind, it doesn't have to be that someone was cheating. It doesn't have to be that someone was stepping out. Um, if this is an open relationship, this could be something that everyone knew about. But one person, basically, I'm seeing you weren't able to give your attention to both or attention wasn't fully put on you. There was a cup that was just dropped here, an opportunity missed because things couldn't be balanced out um, because there just wasn't enough energy to go around is what I'm getting. And that's just causing a lot of, I get that it caused a lot of disappointment that it didn't work out. A lot of disappointment, a lot of frustration, a lot of irritation and some regret. Oh my gosh, Leo, what is going on with you in April? Okay, I think we need some Healing Star Submerge deck just to brighten up the day a bit. Just some advice. Just some advice. Gosh, Leo, literally, you had the best reading ever last month. Best reading. And this is just, oh, this is hard to read. Okay, you could only wear a mask until it doesn't fit you anymore. Keep it real, even when it's hard to. Wisdom isn't about being perfect. It's instinct telling you to do the right things. A cycle in life has to end before a new one can begin. And the ability to love yourself and others is your greatest asset. Wow, Leo. Wow. So, 
I feel like this first card has to do with that first story. You might pretend one way. You might pretend that you don't love the other person in the situation. You might pretend that you might look at your person and say, I don't want to be with you anymore. But what you're thinking is, I don't want to hurt you, so I have to end this. But I basically see that you're not being totally straight with him about how hard um, your fall was. And you you aren't letting them see the depth of the pain you're feeling or the stress you're feeling um, in some cases. And this is basically saying you can only wear that mask for so long. It's going to crumble. Okay? So be forthwith. Keep it real even when it's hard to. Be honest about your emotions. Okay? And I think this one actually applies to all three. Be honest. If, if you're in a committed relationship, be honest with your partner. If this is about, you know, a connection you have with family, if this is about a connection you have with a friend, a connection with work, look at your boss and be like, hey, look, I have a lot going on right now. I know my performance hasn't been stellar or, you know, I know that things have been slipping a little bit or you've noticed I was off, but I have a lot going on. I, I need your help because I'm really struggling. I need your help to get me through this because I certainly don't want to do a half-assed job or I certainly don't want to leave you hanging or not do my job to my best ability. You know, basically just have it saying like, hey, look, this is where I'm at. Please help me in whatever way you can. This is basically what I'm saying. Be honest, okay? Wisdom isn't about being perfect. It's instinct telling you to do the right things. I'm basically seeing that you guys are, like I said, those voices, especially in that first story that you're hearing, you don't have to be perfect, Leo. Ignore those voices. They are lying to you, okay? Follow your gut, okay? Follow your gut. Another thing I just heard in this third story that we kind of heard here, um... If you haven't made your decision yet, if you're looking at multiple things and you're considering juggling two options at this time because you don't want to just um, narrow it down to one cup, my advice to you if you haven't made this decision yet is to only make one decision for right now, okay? Because what I'm seeing is you need to basically adjust your life to fit this one cup and then once you could do that, once that's balanced, then you can see about adding another cup if you so desire, if it's in a healthy manner. Um, but trying to juggle two new things, two opportunities, two things that are going to take your energy and time, you, you're going to drop one, waste one, or you're just not going to be able to give enough energy to either one, okay? So keep that in mind. A cycle in life has to end before a new one can begin. Okay, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I, I think that this is going to teach you. I don't know. I think the lesson is going to be different for all of you. This is so interesting, Leo. It's so interesting. I, I couldn't even tell you what the lesson is because honestly... I believe it's going to be different for all of you. Because like I said, there's so many different stories, so many different energies. Oh, this video is running really long. I'll try to wrap this up for you guys. Um, the ability to love yourself and others is your greatest asset. Like I said at the beginning of this reading, in my experience, the Leos that I've met, regardless of gender, you know, have been loving, warm, passionate, nurturing individuals. Your love is your greatest asset. It is the best gift you can give somebody, okay? And I'm going to go back to that first story again because I feel like it'll be really powerful in this reading. Your love is enough, okay? Just because you're going through financial hardship, going through some mental and emotional instability, some spiritual instability, <clears throat> Keep in mind that your love is enough to your partner. Your love is enough. You are an incredible being of warmth and love. And you are allowed to struggle. You are allowed to ask for help when you need it. 
it is okay to look at your partner and say, this is how I feel. I don't know how to process it. I don't know how to pull myself out of this hole. Please help me. Please help me. And I guarantee you, Leo, your person will throw you a life raft. Your person will th throw the rope down to the hole so you can climb out. Your person will help you dig your way out, okay? Just trust them. All right, Leos, I know that that was a rough read and a really long one from the look looks of it, but I hope that that helped. Just know, um, just know you will get through this and you are loved and you are appreciated, okay? Regardless of your situation, Leo, I love you. I appreciate you and I believe in you. You can get through this. All right, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.